improvised empathetic device. This project monitors the accumulation of the deaths of U.S. soldiers overseas. And so uh, the armed man is in constant contact with our server that is scraping the CENTCOM and Department of Defense websites for the new releases of, uh, of casualties, U.S. casualties. And whenever a new casualty is received, it's wirelessly sent to the armband using the same um, uh, actuation methods that the improvised explosive devices use. But instead of blowing up, it stabs the wearer with a needle once for every person who died. And it reads out the name, rank, cause of death, and the location they died in their hometown on a, on a small screen as well. Uh, it's interesting how um, sometimes we blame the media for not putting us in close contact with re reality of war. But it's really an amazing feat that we can be here in Dublin and find out what had happened on the other side of the earth today. But the problem, I think, is that when it's just broadcast to us, it, it's just information. But when it, that information is turned into a, a small amount of physical pain, you internalize that information differently. So for instance, when we were performing this project back in the States, we found that when Friday approached, we would get really anxious. And we discovered that um, the US government tends to release casualty reports late on Fridays in order to escape the media spectacle. And so we found, we discovered that pattern in media reporting by using this device because we internalize the information differently when it's delivered with a, uh, the equivalent of a wasp sting on your arm. And if 10 people died that day, we'd be struck 10 times by the needle.